at Michigan Stadium where the Wolverines have it first and 10 of their own 21 yard line. Mike Hart running and still on his feet out near, look, look at him go. <laughs> he got a first down on the tertiary effort, if you will. It wasn't second effort on the last two yards. Well, this to me is continuous effort for a guy. You know, he just never quits. Just... Three yard line. Blitz coming up the middle, Hart coming up the middle. And Hart taking guys with him again. And Mike Hart, the captain and the soul of this team, talked with us. Two tight end set here. Mallet back to throw. Ryan's going to swing it out to Mike Hart. Made the first man miss. Cuts to the inside, and he might have a first down again. He does. Better than he was earlier, but he's still coming. And here he goes again. And he broke a tackle into the secondary. Another first down run for Mike Hart. He got 12. Getting into that rarefied air. And when they got it, so can we play with Ohio State? Mike Hart can play with anybody. Another 12 or 13 yard run before Zibikowski just kind of twists him out of bounds in front of Charlie Weiss over there on the Notre Dame sideline. Michigan with Brandon Miner on the carry, breaking tackles. He's got a first down run. And now Notre Dame's just playing, getting tired of bringing down any ball carrier that Michigan throws at him. Now watching his understudy, the true freshman Ryan Mallett in his first start, the big 6'7", 250-pounder. Back to throw. Pump fakes, goes to the corner. Man there. Got him. Touchdown, Mario Manningham. That was an impressive throw there. It's an impressive route. That's his third <laughs> touchdown pass in his debut. <laughs> nice protection, and he gets it there quickly. Throws a little off, gets it over. Away from the safety, over the corner. Good throw. Best throw of the day. A 13-yard touchdown earlier this year. But Tebow has not experienced the, uh, having the pressure all on him. Right. Clawson with oh, pressure yeah. on him, as it has been all day. And dropped the ball. Down he goes. Another sack. The eighth sack of the day. And it is third down and a mile again. Third down and 16. We're back out of the territory again. Uh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I was going to leave it alone. <laughs> Carlson in motion. Play action. Clawson's going to go deep. Got a man out there. He trips. It was Golden Tate. Morgan Trent was covering, but I think uh, Tate just sort of tripped on his own back there trying to get deep. He's been working on him for about four or five hours this week. Zivikowski's going to get a shot at it from the 44. This way. Zivikowski, now he ran right into one. Looked like he was going to get a block, and he's upset with himself that he didn't play off that block a little bit better in Michigan territory today with a new quarterback in Sharpley in there at the 47. And he comes up swinging, and he almost threw an interception. Morgan Trent had a crack at it. Intended. But Clawson basically just beat Sharpley out for the position. And now the same thing happens to Sharpley that happened to Clawson so many times today. He got rid of it, but he got hammered in doing so. Let's check in upon California, great pure passer, so the future's bright at QB. Yeah, but it ain't going to help us. They get some offensive no. linemen. True. <laughs> Allen stopped by Thompson. Boy, John Thompson's had a huge game at linebacker today. Anything and go anywhere without an offensive line. Minor broke a tackle, first down run, and then some. And out to the 31 yard line. We got a penalty marker on the play. And I think it's going to be probably a face mask. It was a face mask penalty. And Seven year olds out there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Miner. Oh, nice run, still on his feet. Miner with a stiff arm and a headbutt and a first down run to the 39 yard line. 21 yard pickup for Miner. Miner didn't have a very good game last week, but this is good for Michigan and their offense because you can't do it all with Mike Hart. He just runs over. Is Bruton. that Wooden? Bruton. Groot. Ran Three over Bruton. Groot. Oh. And Ohio yeah. State's got a 20 to 7 lead. Howard Schnellenberger with a big win with uh, Florida Atlantic. You're not kidding. Brown, and they haven't asked him to do too much. They didn't put it all on him. And Clawson, I think, on this other side, they did ask him to do a lot. And and uh, 
and, and he dropped the ball, he fumbled the ball, he took a lot of sacks, and uh, percentages weren't good. But Michigan, with a stronger team and a stronger supporting cast. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a good game in the ACC tonight down in Atlanta. Boston College and Georgia Tech. Uh huh. Sharply going deep, has got a man out there, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stevie Brown, coming the other way. Brown with some blockers. Weaving to the middle of the field, and he's back into Notre Dame territory, and he stumbled, or he might have taken it to the barn. It's not getting any better for the guys in the Golden Domes. Notre Dame still without an offensive touchdown. And two weeks of frustration followed Michigan around and haunted them, but now on their home field, they're getting a standing ovation. Quite a bit of difference than from a week ago, huh? The Wolverine fans are finally happy as their team routes Notre Dame 38 to nothing. Let's go down to Bonnie. Mike Hart, player of the game today. Once again, final score 38 to nothing, Michigan. For Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, Bonnie Bernstein, Brad Nessler saying so long from the big house.